Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video review, actually redo a video review on the Scorpion EXO 400 helmet. For those of, uh, of you out there that have shot with us before, okay, you've probably seen our little motto, you know, if we won't use it, we don't sell it on the website. And that's something that we really, we really try to stick to, especially with the safety equipment, okay. This helmet that I'm holding here in my hand, this is one of my personal Scorpions. This is a, a 700. I also have two 400s. Um, as you might notice, I had a little accident in this one um, at Grattan Raceway a couple of years ago. And the idea here is just to show you that, you know, that when we say that, we really mean that. I think every one of our staffers actually owns a Scorpion helmet. And I think all of us have ridden in them. A few of us have crashed in them. They are great performers. They're top performers in their given price points we think they offer the best value for sure okay all that being said now let's focus on the EXO 400 the EXO 400 offers a polycarbonate shell okay plastic shell plastics have come a long way and the reality is you know this one passes the Snell certification just like the fiberglass one so at the end of the day you're really not sacrificing any protection I do believe in testing as well that the 400 absorbed even a tickle more energy than the 700 did, which is kind of interesting. Let's give you an idea of the general shell shape here of the 400. I'm going to do a nice little 360. The model I'm holding here in my hands is the EXO 400 Dogfight Graphic. Pretty interesting helmet. Ventilation. That's one of the key features for almost everyone out there. The 400 gives you a chin vent that can be turned on and off. It gives you kind of a, a dual stage brow vent. We have a, a few detents here, okay, in the center intake for the brow vent. Okay, halfway on, full on, or off. And then you have some auxiliary vents here that can be turned on and off with these little switches, right? Exhaust vents. Up here on the top of the helmet, you can switch this exhaust vent on and off. That switch really doesn't need to be there. It should just be left on all the time because the reality is you have to have the intake vents open for the exhaust vents to work. So if you have the front vents closed and this one open, really nothing's going to happen anyways. And then we also have some extractor vents down here, um, kind of at the base of the neck. The shield on this helmet is probably one of the best features that it has to offer. Scorpion boasts fog-free performance, Everclear they call it. And let's just say it works, period. There's a lot of other helmet manufacturers out there that boast fog-free performance or anti-fog performance. In my experience, most of them fall short. I mean, some are okay, but the Scorpion is good, very good, the best one that's out there, the most effective for sure. This is from personal use, use all of our staffers have ridden in it as well, and then feedback from literally thousands of customers. We're selling each and every month between five and 600 Scorpion helmets, so we have a tremendous amount of feedback from this particular product. So anti-fog shield works. Great value. We've also noted with the Scorpion that it seals nice and tightly. Okay. One minor negative is that the, this is the first step for the shield right here. Okay. It's, it's kind of a big crack. With an ordinary helmet that would be a problem because let's face it most helmets fog up and if you can't crack the shield just a little bit and ride around then you get a bunch of fog buildup. With a Scorpion, that's a non-issue because of the fog-free shield that actually works, okay? To remove the shield, easy to do. Go ahead and grab the twist grips here on either side of the helmet, and then you rotate the one on the right forward and the one on the left towards you, okay? And then go ahead and pop the shield off like so. Shield all, or The helmet also comes with a rubberized breath deflector. It's installed and it can be removed if you choose to do so. Okay, like so. Let's have a look at the interior of the helmet now. Fully removable, washable, and replaceable. It's made from a material called Quick Wick. What that does is it actually works to move the moisture away from your head. It keeps you cool and comfortable when you're riding. We found it to be quite effective. Now, the padding they use in the Scorpion has also proven itself over time to hold its shape. We found many helmets that sell at similar price points with the Scorpion that are not able to do that. And for that reason, we choose not to offer them. Okay? If 
you get a helmet and it fits great day one, and then six months later the thing has changed sizes literally and it's one full size bigger, you've wasted your money and you need to replace the helmet or replace the liner. The Scorpion does not do that. It holds its shape for a tremendous period of time. I've personally never had to replace a liner in one. Great product, tons of quality. I'm going to show you how to remove that liner right now. The cheek pads here have a snap all the way at the back. Same deal on both sides. Release those first. You'll find holding the cheek pad to the shell three snaps. Reach in between the cheek pad and the EPS of the helmet and let's go ahead and pop those loose two and number three. Go ahead and pull the helmet strap through the slot there. Now grab a hold of the cheek pad assembly here kind of at the base where it's they have this plastic tab sewn to the fabric and give it a little tug. Look at the snaps they use here. If you want to tighten in on that, Ryan, nice big snap, solid engagement. It's one of the best systems we've found in the business. You can also see here that this tab has a couple of slots cut out and there are clips that it engages to in between the EPS and the helmet shell. And we think that's nice as well. Good positive engagement. For the other cheek pad, simply a mirror image, three snaps plus the snap at the back. Remember that one, that's critical. And just go ahead and kind of grab a hold of it, give it a little tug and a wiggle, pull it on out. For the top pad, we have two snaps here at the back. They're nice and large, just like the ones I showed you on the cheek pad. Disengage those. Now up here at the brow of the helmet, what I want you to do is I want you to grab this plastic tab the liner is sewn to. Lightly grab it here and just give it a little tug back. Let's have a look at our top pad. Same quick wit quality, nice top pad. Let's have a look at the helmet EPS from the inside out. This is the stuff that saves, saves your gray matter if you have a wreck. Ryan, you want to kind of zoom in and show them the channels that are in there for airflow, and I'd like you to really try and get a good look at the large ventilation holes that are drilled through the EPS. That is key to the airflow, okay? Like I said before, this 400, it's a good helmet, it flows a ton of air, right? Reassembly. Let's go ahead and grab our top pad, slide it in, and there is a channel here at the brow of the helmet. You need to slide this tab that is sewn to the top pad in there. You'll see a little arrow here in the front. You need to line those up, just kind of push it in. They engage quite easily. We've got our two big snaps here at the back of the helmet. Let's grab our cheek pads, start by dipping the cheek pad over the chin strap. Let's go ahead and slide this tab down into the gap that's between the shell of the helmet and the EPS. Push in a little bit with your fingers. I want you to locate the snap back here, lock that in place. Now remember, we have three snaps here inside. One, two, And three. Let's grab the other cheek pad. Same deal. Let's go ahead and slide the helmet chin strap through that slot. Let's dip this tab down here. Take your fingers like so. Push in. You can feel it lock in place. Locate the snap back here. Engage that. Now we have this three snaps once again on the cheek pad itself. All locked in place. Let's grab our shield to reinstall that. What you need to do, and I'll probably give you a close-up here. You can see there's a little cutout here on the shield mechanism. All right, please show them this locator tab here. What you need to do is slide that locator tab in that slot and then push. That simple. Very quiet. Tons of airflow. Super comfortable. Fits almost everyone well. Scorpion spent a lot of time researching the North American head shape and head form before they built the helmet. And let's just say that they really hit their mark. We find very few people, the Scorpion helmets do not fit well. Very, very few. We literally sell between five and 600 of these things every month. That's because they're a great product available at a great price. This is the Scorpion EXO 400 helmet from SportBikeTrackGear.com.